this is the solution to written homework 46. Okay, so f of 1. So that's obtained by going to uh, x value 1 and finding the y value. So this is a line of slope half. So you can see its rise is uh, 1 and its run is 2. So that is point negative 1 half. So f of 1 is negative half. <coughs> so the way to, th one visual way to see that is you're looking for the y value that intersects with this x value. x is 1. <coughs> So this problem is the is the opposite. Now, you on the previous one you were given an input and requested to find the output. So this one you're given an output 1 and, and requested to find the input. So now I'll draw a green output. of 1 And I always draw just a little bit under, otherwise you would, might not be able to see it. So this point right here is the x value, the x value that gives you uh, output 1. So that is x is 1, 2, 3, 4. So x is 4. Okay, now, <clears throat> f inverse of 1, well, one way to do this is to say that f inverse of 1, that is to say, we want to know what x value, what x value would give us the, uh, the output 1. So this is the same as... logically equivalent to uh, 1 is f of x. So that f inverse is moving to the other side of the equation. So here on the left side it's f inverse and on the right side it's f. <coughs> okay, so then we solve that in the previous exercise. So that's x is equal to 4. Alternatively, you could plot the line y is x and you could take the line y is f of x and you could reflect it across to obtain the following. So I guess I'll reflect it in blue. So that point reflects to itself. This point uh, will reflect to that point. And then everything else. So this is y is f inverse of x. So alternatively, f inverse of 1 is we could plug in, <coughs> we could plug in uh, this value, uh, x is 1, and we could see, well, where does it intersect here? It intersects right there. So that's 1, 2, uh, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4. <coughs> Or you could say, or you could say, f inverse of one is four. This is really the exact same exercise as before because here, on the left-hand side, it's f inverse. If you move it to the right, if you move it to the right, <coughs> then this is the same as saying x is f of one. So what if you were to give f the input one? What output would it produce? 
So this would be 1. <coughs> uh, sorry, uh, f of 1 would be negative half. Or you could just say f inverse. Uh, well, that's really the only, the only thing you could say. Okay, and then now find f inverse of f of 1. Well, f and f inverse uh, cancel each other out, so the answer is just f inverse of f of 1. It's just 1.